Okay, so here we are at another collection of cars. Probably going to be more interesting for your barn find type people this. This is a Citroen CX Safari. We actually drove this car here a long time ago, maybe three or four years. And it's a little bit worse for the wear, should we say. This is really interesting. A Torino. I can't, <laughs> I can't say that word very easily. Uh, so it's a Toyota Torino, which is uh, particularly rare and hard to find these days. This one's obviously not in its first flush of youth. But it's still cool to see the sort of the little coupe. Obviously not as popular as the uh, famous drift versions. Most people watch Initial D, you know what I'm talking about. These that was the f that's the front wheel drive Toyota. So quite interesting. Very rare, but not the most loved of the Toyota rear wheel drive coupe. There we go. This ran and drove here and then slowly disintegrated. Crazy style really. I mean the successor to the DS. So they pushed it all out. I think it was 1975, I think these came out, which is a real I mean they were mind blown when they first came out. Hydro pneumatic suspension, really fast uh, at top speeds, but actually quite slow off the mark. They, they made a GTI version too, which is super, super rare and hardly ever seen these days. They also made six wheelers, which they used to deliver papers. And they made them into ambulances too, which was six wheels sometimes, or sometimes these. Huge load space and really low drag coefficient. But crazy. In fact, you know, if it's open, let's show you inside. Because really, Citroen's already got a idea of having some pretty crazy dashes but this one this one takes the biscuit yep like a crypt in here this one's a manual look at that crazy revolving dial dash it's just like something from the american 50s really i suppose but it's like a space age 70s dash i suppose while we're here we'll take you for a quick walk around the rest of the toyotas today here which I'm sure you're going to love. There's actually a car here I really, really love. AW11 MR2. And a very hard working Land Cruiser. That's very, very hard working that car. Okay. Sorry about all the walking and crunching of gravel. Another Land Cruiser. These were really, really good. Good, tough vehicles. PTO, winch. Go anywhere. I'm just going to briefly show you this, but you're not going to see all of it. We're going to pull this out and show you it in a lot more detail later on. It's a rally car, obviously. But this... <laughs> uh, this is amazing. This is a really rare K car. So this is a Daihatsu Mira, but it's the van version. So basically... You have a Daihatsu Mira, and then they put this huge post box looking van on the back of it. <laughs> you get into it. Through a sliding door. And this would be your office for the day. Like it is crazy. Like it's crazy. You could almost stand up in this thing. Oh wow. Yeah, it's got a little worse since the last time I saw it. This will be this will be restored. Tota Corolla Sprinter. Japanese market only. You'll see why. It's a very strange looking back end on it. Very, very different to the standard ones. Sorry, the sun's in completely the wrong place here, but great wheels. Really tidy inside. I don't know if I can show you this. It's just also the sun's in the wrong position. But look, so this is the JDM front on them. Really, really different. Very different to the standard ones, which is like that kind of. Probably New Zealand's most famous and well-loved Coronas.
these Corollas are lovely. Like, everybody had one. Everybody's nan drove one. They were super cheap to run, super reliable. This one's a really good one, actually. It's just sat in the long grass at the minute, but it is actually a nice car. Very, very tidy. And this is the Toyota Carib. I'm not sure if you've got these in America, but these were beloved in New Zealand and Japan. And the reason they were loved so much is they're four-wheel drive. So, and they're actually quite capable. Like, a lot of these use them in ski fields and backpackers use them. Just a very, very handy car. Just about big enough to sleep in, as long as you're not too tall. And yeah, so just thought, since I'm here, you might like a quick walk around my friend's crazy Japanese domestic market vehicles. There's only a few, but they are a lot of fun. Okay, well, hopefully we'll show you a lot more of this mirror at some point in time later.